Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our review of the Eufy L60 robot vacuum. We bought one and put it through all kinds of tests this week and it was pretty impressive. Not just because, as we will see, it was an excellent robot vacuum, but because, at least by the way we calculate these things, it's the robot vacuum with the most value that we've tested yet. So links in the description and let's get started. Eufy has been a major player in the robot vacuum world for a long time. Their extremely popular 11S model has been one of the best selling budget robot vacuums maybe ever. These days Eufy is putting out a lot more advanced models, but they're still trying to appeal to the more budget conscious consumer, and their L60 model is the perfect example of this. There are three different package options with the L60, one without the auto empty bin, which is the cheapest option, one with the bin, which is the one that I bought, and one they call the L60 Hybrid, which comes with a detachable mop pad, and I'll link all three in the description section. Starting off with the pros, it was excellent with debris pickup on both hard floors and carpets. It uses a single side brush and a floating main brush to sweep up debris, and we found that it was good with everything from fine to extra large debris on both surface types. It also did extremely well in our carpet deep clean test, which is where we test how good it is at picking up deeply embedded debris in carpets, where it was significantly above average. In fact, it had a score in the top 10 out of almost 90 tested, which is especially impressive because of its price. Its raw power was also above average. It had the second highest suction score out of almost 90 tested. Another pro was its auto empty bin. This is where when it returns to its dock to charge, it automatically empties the contents of its dustbin into a disposable bag. The L60's auto empty bin is unique in that it's the first one to have a hair detangling system built into the dock. After emptying the bin, it engages to automatically slice the hair off its brush, and then it sucks that hair up into the bin. This feature seemed to work really well in the two tests that we did with seven inch human hair, so it's pretty interesting and potentially game changing, especially for people that have a lot of long hair to pick up. I also like that its dock was a little bit lower profile than you typically see. Another pro is its navigation. It's a smart robot vacuum that uses LiDAR, which is a spinning invisible laser on top, which helps it to quickly make a map of your house and to accurately navigate around in straight rows. And in our navigation tests, it was remarkably efficient, scoring again in the top 10 with metrics like square meters cleaned per minute competing with robot vacuums double or even triple its price. It has a very useful and easy to use app with most of the modern features you would expect from a smart robot vacuum. The final pro I'll mention is that it has a feature called Boost IQ, which is where it will boost the power when it senses carpet, which optimizes performance and battery life and is pretty useful. It can't all be good stuff though, so let's move on to the cons. I think that the suction power affected its battery life. The battery life wasn't very good. The official numbers are 120 minutes on low power, which is below average. And in our tests, it was using about half of its battery on medium power on a 355 square foot floor plan. And after all the battery tests were done, it averaged at about 0.87 minutes per percentage point, which is about 722 square feet per Per charge. It's not the lowest I've seen for a smart vacuum, but it is lower than average. It does have recharge and resume though, so if you have a large floor plan, it can do it, but it may take it more than one charge cycle. Another con is that its brush isn't really good at resisting hair tangles. You could argue that it doesn't need to because it has that hair detangling feature built into the base, and I'd have to agree with that, but it is worth mentioning. As I said at the beginning, the interesting thing about the Eufy L60 is the price. One way to show this is by using a new metric that I'm calling points per dollar. At Vacuum Wars, we give points to each robot that we review, and if we take the current price and divide it by its Vacuum Wars score, the Eufy L60 has the most Vacuum Wars points per dollar than even our perennial favorite budget robot vacuum, the Roomba 600 series. Despite the Eufy L60 being a smart robot vacuum, 
with many more features. So it was a no-brainer decision to, for the first time in years, dethrone the Roomba 600 series from our top spot on our best budget robot vacuum list on our website and description and replace it with the Eufy L60 without the bin. But even the Eufy L60 version with the bin is almost in the budget category. So either way, it works. Basically, the bang for the buck is higher with the Eufy L60 with or without the bin than any previous robot vacuum we've tested. And if you don't don't mind it not having a mop, it's got everything else you'll need. Links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching. All of the links in our description section are updated regularly to reflect our current favorite vacuums in multiple categories. If you don't know where to start, check out our latest Vacuum Buyer's Guide video linked here. You'll also find links to the VacuumWars.com website in the description where we post all the latest vacuum news as well as much more detailed top five lists in multiple categories.